Welcome back to The Healthy Voyager and part two of my Istanbul adventure. I hope you enjoyed part one, but guess what? Part two is even better. Glad you joined me. You ready? Let's go. So I'm here with John of Second Home Hostel here in Istanbul. And they host cooking classes here at the Second Home Hostel for their guests. And do you host for outside people as well? Sometimes they request to have a dinner with us and then we show them how to cook. Oh, fantastic. And then, like we have small Second Home Kitchen, we do our best. Great, I so guess. what are we making today? Today we do a um, vegetarian dish. We call it turlu. We have zucchini, potatoes, onion, aubergine eggplant and pepper, carrot and tomatoes and garlic, uh, dill and red pepper. Delicious. We will do on the oven, mm -hmm. all mixed up after we chop all the small pieces. We'll mix it up and uh, put it in the oven. It's four to five minutes, we'll mm -hmm. be ready. So it's just, what is it usually? Do you usually put chicken or beef or anything beef. in it? Beef, we do like lamb. Usually mm -hmm. we do turtle lamb or beef. Mm -hmm. It will be amazing. This is for So we do a vegetarian. And also vegan people. I love it, well let's get started. Okay, so we've got all the veggies chopped up. Yeah. So now what? Now time to mix up. Okay. And then we we'll start at uh, onion. Okay. So everything right. goes in and then we bake. Yes. Oh. yes. A lot of peppers. Yeah. What if people don't like spice, then what? Then we don't put the spices. <laughs> but You're this like, is no, green you pepper. Yeah, fresh pepper. It's kind of a little bit spicy. Mm -hmm. So you can find one spice one. Mm -hmm. This one too. Cook a lot. Red pepper sauce. I already prepared it. Let me mix up. Garlic. More because it's like spicy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now this yeah, is where you can get do. down yeah. and dirty. Mm. It feels nice. This feels like a Turkish ratatouille. <laughs> looks good. Yep, that looks good. That's what I'm say. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna make the lentil soup. Yes. Tell us what goes into it. Okay, we are doing the lentil soup. This is the red, red lentil. Mm -hmm. And we already grind the carrot, mm -hmm. onion, mm -hmm. and now we do two potatoes. Grate the potato. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then after we're gonna cook like around 30 minutes, 40 minutes when they get, what do you call it? Fully incorporated. Yes. <laughs> and then we will test uh, and then how you spice you like it. You can mm -hmm. add red pepper mm -hmm. or black pepper or if you like to have butter or olive oil. Perfect. And of it, we will add. Excellent. And so we just put everything in the pot, bring it to a boil. Yes. So is there any um, vegetable broth or anything? To no, all this. Everything just completely dissolves? Well, yes. <laughs> and then, turns into its own thick yeah, soup? Yes. Okay. Great. I wish this was smell-o-vision, as the kitchen smelled heavenly. The delicious spices from each of the dishes brought all the guests down into the dining area as we all patiently awaited this homemade vegan Turkish feast. Second Home Hostel is a great place for all sorts of travelers from all across the globe to not only create lasting friendships, but also enjoy mealtime together as you would with family. After a whirlwind day of sightseeing, cooking, and eating, it was time to indulge in some more Turkish traditions. But this is the kind where all I had to do was relax. Welcome to Chatma Mescit Hammam, one of the most historic and beautiful hammams in the city.
Well, I'm starting my morning here at Chatma Mesjid, which is a hammam in the Nova Plaza uh, Pera Hotel, not too far from Galata Tower. So if you are staying in the historic area, not far from Galata or even in the old town, it's just a quick cab ride over. Um, if you're lucky enough to stay in the hotel, that's fantastic. But they do offer uh, guests from outside the hotel to come into this hammam. And what's special about this hammam is that it's private. So it's not a public bathhouse. So when you book your services here at Chatma Masjid, then uh, you have the whole place yourself. So whether it's you and your friends or you and your couple, then uh, you've got the whole place to be pampered Turkish style. The history of the bathhouse goes back to the ancient Romans, and in Turkey, they don't mess around when it comes to pampering. From the beautiful, heated marble bathroom to their chill spaces and massage rooms, this place is sheer ecstasy. The hammam bathing ritual is done on a heated marble slab and honestly feels like heaven. The natir, or the lady who washes you, engages in several steps during the service. From the first wash in the fountain to the sponge scrub, honey scrub, and bubble scrub, each leaves you feeling more clean than the last and finally leaving you in a state of pure bliss. Rub-a-dub-dub, Healthy -dub -dub. Voyager got a bomb-ass Turkish scrub. So, Chetma Mitshit Hammam is legit the bomb. That sudsy scrub was so awesome. It totally made me think of how my dishes might feel in the sink. I'm clean as a whistle and it's time for a massage. All that relaxation worked up an appetite, so off I went in search of some lunch. Well, I'm walking around in the Galata Tower, Galata neighborhood, and I stumbled across Community Kitchen, which is an all vegan kitchen and restaurant here in the area. So I'm gonna have a nice little snack and then uh, head out for some more sightseeing. I fell in love with this place, not only because it serves up traditional Turkish food made vegan style, but because the owner takes so much pride in his cooking and service. He cooks all of his food from scratch, fresh, daily, and he does it with a smile. Beautiful baklava. Being that Istanbul straddles two continents, it's a must to take a ferry on the Bosphorus over to the Asian side of the city. Both sides boast incredible sights, so be sure to carve out enough time on your trip to experience them both. Dining on the Bosphorus is a must when you're in Istanbul, and there's no place better than the Chirigan Palace Kempinski Hotel. I love Kempinski Hotels, and this particular property is situated on an actual, in an actual palace. It was a functioning palace, and now it's this beautiful hotel with several dining options, bars, and this gazebo lounge overlooks the Bosphorus and the pool, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Not to mention, Kempinski's always do a fabulous job in the food and beverage department across all of their properties, always showcasing innovative and delicious options for all sorts of special diet diners without sacrificing flavor or fun. <laughs> 